Let's be clear, hot flashes are no joke. You know what I'm talking about, ladies. They are no joke. My patients always talk to me about their hot flashes. They can be downright disruptive, right? You know the feeling. Sudden feelings of heat that sort of come up through your chest to your face. Oftentimes a flush sensation or a pinkness, redness of the skin. Um, but yeah, there's other symptoms that accompany these hot flashes, right? Sometimes a rapid heart rate, sometimes an anxious feeling. Um, and then there's the perspiration or sweating. Yeah, not so convenient when you're at work, when you're basically anywhere that you start sweating through your clothes, which does happen to many women, by the way. Um, and chills can happen as the hot flash lets up. You know, guys, some women have these a few times a month. Some women have these symptoms a few times a day, and they can be downright, as I mentioned, disruptive. We are talking about natural remedies for hot flashes today. Guys, I am Dr. Jen Cottle, a practicing family physician and an on-air health expert and video creator. Um, let's jump right in. Now, you guys know that there are medications uh, that can be taken that may help uh, reduce hot flashes. We're not talking about medications today, but I want you to know that these do exist, okay? Prescription medications. Um, and your doctor uh, may also prescribe or recommend some supplements as well. Okay, so keep that in mind. Remember, if you have any symptoms, hot flashes or anything else that you're not really coping well with, talk to your doctor about them. Okay, but let's talk about natural remedies for hot flashes. What can you do at home? What can you do naturally to sort of help minimize these? Well, let's start with what you put in your body. That's right, what you eat and drink. Let's start with that. Minimizing caffeine can be very, very helpful when it comes to uh, minimizing hot flashes. Also, minimizing alcohol, very important as well. And when it comes to foods, minimizing those spicy foods. Yes. So take stock of your diet. What are you eating? What are you putting in your mouth? What are you drinking? Um, try modifying uh, what you're eating and drinking to see if that helps with some of your hot flash symptoms. Okay. Um, also, make sure that you're keeping up your water intake. Uh, remember, there you can drink too much water. So I'm not asking you to sort of chug the water all day long. In fact, do not do that, but just making sure that you're staying hydrated um, and keeping a cold glass of water on hand can be very helpful should you get a hot flash uh, sensation. Okay. Um, the other thing that's really, really helpful, and this is, uh, you know, sort of a lifestyle issue, is dress in layers. This is something to help you once you get a hot flash, sort of to cope with it a little bit better. If you're dressed in layers, you can kind of peel off those layers, hopefully giving yourself a little bit more relief, uh, a little more conveniently and quicker, okay, than, than what might otherwise happen. Um, also, you know, I have uh, some staff folks at my office that have little portable fans. That can help you if you just sort of throw a little portable fan. I know, not so convenient but it can be helpful. If you have a little portable fan with you, that can sort of help in a pinch, okay? And don't, you know, look, if you need to keep a portable fan at your desk, at the office, what have you, this may be something that helps you out a lot. Um, also, other lifestyle changes, quit smoking. We want you to quit smoking for a number of reasons and a number of health reasons. So this is not a new thing. I know you've heard this many places, many times before, but quitting smoking and not smoking can also be helpful uh, for hot flashes as well. Keeping a healthy weight, okay? So having an unhealthy weight or being overweight or obese may uh, contribute to a uh, likelihood of hot flashes. So try, well, definitely work on keeping a healthy weight, not only for hot flashes, but also for other things like heart disease, diabetes, risk, etc. Okay, we want that. That's very important. Um, other things that can be very, very important is um, sort of what we call our mindfulness techniques. Uh, you know, things that are stress relieving, uh, mindfulness practices, whether it's yoga, tai chi, deep breathing, these practices can actually be very, very helpful. They actually can go a long way with not only reducing stress levels, but also helping with hot flashes. So guys, I hope these are important things. You know, there's things, as I mentioned, from your diet, what you're eating and drinking, to literally what you're wearing, to literally what you bring to the office, what you have nearby, and then also, uh, you know, how you're treating your body that may very well help with hot flashes. Let me know uh, what has helped you with your hot flashes. Write them in the comments because, by the way, you might help another woman out there who is dealing with the same issue. So put your suggestions in the comments. Uh, as always, make sure that you're talking to your doctor about any health issues, including hot flashes that you may have. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Please share it with others. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, I invite you to do so. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'm Dr. Jen. I'll be back soon.